Alright, with that we will go check out Nick's office. Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You right mean here. the railroad? That's a fairy tale. Oh, I just walked past the mention of the railroad. That's another one of the factions. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His tough ex Now steal this. This is a fun little Space Invaders ripoff. Ice. Oh, Nick. So as you can see, the there's not a whole lot of uh, huh. a lot of evidence of Nick Valentine pills. hanging around. So let's talk to her. The photographs. <laughs> he never did photograph well. Something wrong? <laughs> Detective secretary. I'll never find another job. Another stray coming in from the rain. <sighs> Rage you too late. Office is closed. Oh, here's another speech truck. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. The Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Now, in this case, money would be nice, so I'll go ahead and do that one, too. I am broke. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's the small matter of expenses. Money, huh. I, I do have 125 caps in the old rainy day fund. Eh, that's fine. Who's I don't want this to be a jerk about it. skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. Sounds like my kind of place, to be honest. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat get up. Please hurry. Yeah, a decent amount of experience for that. So, let's start a new quest find Nick. First, I'll talk to Piper and then carry on with that. I'm not supposed to talk to people, I don't know. As much oh, as I like hanging out with dog meat, I'm going to be swapping dog meat out for Piper after this conversation with her. So let's set the quest to Story of the Century. So apparently even though I didn't overhear the entire conversation between those two people about the Institute and the Railroad, I got the quest to start the, uh, the Railroad's quest line. Talk. The Institute? <laughs> so, the Institute and the Railroad are essentially at war with each other. You've already seen hints of the people uh, being paranoid about being kidnapped and replaced with uh, synths. That is the work of the Institute, as, or as they believe right now. The differences between the Institute and the Railroad will be uh, gone into a little more as the game expands. I'm not going to spoil it at this point. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? 
I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip Boy and the fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. So I can go through this interview either as rude or as friendly as I want to be. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Just go ahead and go with the truthful answer. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? <laughs> it sucks. You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other, and... Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, it's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, I already know you're looking for your son. Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? So here's what we can find out a little more odd about the Institute. The Institute? Who are they? That blue is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> Synths? What the? They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, <laughs> warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old fashioned human. So do you think they could be involved? The Institute or one of their agents? Yeah, that's a pretty hard one to judge at this point. I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth, and eventually someone is going to get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks, or super mutants, or feral ghouls. That is super depressing. They just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? I almost want to go get revenge. I can come across as a complete psychopath. Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Experience boost. I have to say, I love how uh, Piper's okay with the uh, threats of revenge and violence. Good for her. So I can now mercilessly loot their home, all their stuff. So I'll go ahead and do that. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if 
you need anything proof read. So eventually when I come back to Diamond City, uh, there'll be a new edition of the the public occurrence out that will have the interview that we just went through. Alright, I'm going to double check, hey. make sure Dogmeat's not carrying any of my stuff. Because I will be getting rid of him here. They can keep the bandana goggles. Okay, this is a pet peeve of mine, right here. NPCs get to smoke. Player characters cannot. You can carry cigarettes, cigars, lit cigars, lit cigarettes. Can't smoke any of it. Just irritates me. Yes, I'm a smoker. Well, hello. Selling papers is busy work, lady. Now, I just picked up some dirty water. Let me pull it up in the inventory real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, dirty water is a crafting ingredient. Uh, it is absolutely required for making some of the uh, different food items in the game. And what's interesting about dirty water is the fact that if you put it into uh, your your crafting bench to store it for later, at some point the NPCs in your settlement will take it and put it through the filter system, making it uh, healthy drinkable water. Which sounds great, but you don't want to do that since you're going to need it for your crafting. So I lost a lot of dirty water early in the game before I found out that that's what was happening to it. So, if you want to keep it for your crafting, you've got to put it into uh, a container, separate away from the, uh, the workbench. For now, let's get her to come with. Hey, Piper. Head my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Alright, so these are the two settlements I've been to uh, so far. I can send Dog Me to either one of them. Uh, if I had more of them unlocked at this point, um, I'd be able to choose between any of them. I'm going to send him to Sanctuary Hills, where you everyone else is hanging word. out at. Hey, so just now let I'm me hanging know. out with Piper. Sure, take a peek. I can trade items with her. Just like I could with dog meat. Not sure he has a set of real leathers, which is interesting. The real leathers come with uh, two damage resistance, which makes it better than the red leather trench coat she's currently wearing, which all it has is a charisma boost. So I'm going to go ahead and Swap that for her. I'll let her keep the uh, the trench coat though. I'm not gonna look it around. I can also give her pieces of armor that I've picked up and have her wear them just like anything else. So that will give her more protection than the outfit that she had before. Uh, companions are essentially invincible. They can take damage, be knocked down, but eventually they will either get back up when the battle is over, or you can give them a stim pack to get them back in the battle right away. However, I do like to at least give them some kind of some kind of armor, simply because it gives them a little more survivability. Well, actually, I think I just gave Piper half my armor. I did. I gave my leg pieces. Hey, where to? Looking for something specific? Yeah, I'll take those back from me. <laughs> That's how generous I am. Lake pieces. And I got greater pieces I can give her. There we go. That'll keep her from getting killed quite as quickly. Alright, well, we won't worry about the fact it doesn't match. So, alright, we did, uh, the basic explore exploration of Diamond City. Th there's there's more to it. 
although most of it does not deal with the primary quest. I may come back later so we can go through some of that. It's big, loud, full of corrupt officials and bad news and citizens. And dog meets on his way home. So I will call that quits for now. We'll be traveling back to Sanctuary Hills to drop off the gear that I have collected in my travel so far and then fast travel back here, but I will be editing that out. And next time we will be picking up from outside of Diamond City and then trekking off to the try to rescue Nick Valentine. With that, we'll wrap it up. Please go ahead and click like or subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time.